So you're brand new when you assume your post. Begin prepping your paperwork when you discover that the offgoing officer, the CO that you relieved, left something behind. Something that maybe shouldn't have been brought into the facility. You find inside a drawer an item that is considered contraband inside of a correctional facility. You find, are you ready? Have I created enough anticipation? You find that dude's iPhone 7. Bum, bum, bum. And now because that dude's an idiot, you have to choose. You have to decide what to do. So what should you do? What? <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> Correctional officers operate as one. As a unit. A thin gray line. The, the brotherhood, right? What happens when one of us puts the rest of us in a predicament? What happens when an officer crosses the line? What is that line? Where is that line? Is smuggling in a cell phone so a guy can FaceTime his wife a crime? I mean, it's not like he suitcased in a shit ton of fentanyl. He just wanted to make a couple phone calls. We can let that slide, right? Right? Survey says... Look, even though the answer ought to be obvious, it could be a bit of a dilemma. But the officer that sent me this question is sort of wrestling with what they did. Because they reported it. And now they feel like shit because they snitched. Got the guy busted. And now they feel as if they'll never be trusted. So before I go off rail, I'm gonna know what you think. What were the options? Were there any other options? Have you ever had to blow the whistle? Had to report a fellow officer? Let me know in the comments below. And after you post your carefully crafted contribution to our conversation, check out some of the other comments. There are some really knowledgeable individuals offering up their input. And there are some knuckleheads out there too, but for the most part, it's all good. So I'm sure that there's officers on both sides of the fence here. Especially with something like an officer bringing in his personal cell phone, but I'm gonna tell you, full disclosure, I would absolutely recommend without a doubt that you report it. You have to. Here's why. Number one, as a boot, you're probably on probation or something similar. And in most cases, you could be walked out without explanation or representation. So I would err on the side of caution. Could the cell phone be a plant? A test? Could the next officer relieve you, find it, report it, and now you're in an office trying to explain why you didn't say anything? I don't know, but anything could happen. Let's forget for a moment, a brief moment, because I'm going to talk about phones here in a second. So let's for a second forget that a cell phone inside is an extremely dangerous and powerful weapon. And that offenders can run an empire from the inside if they have access to a phone. It's happened. It's probably happening right now. So let's just forget all of that. In most cases, carrying a personal cell phone on your person inside of a correctional facility is a no-no. A violation. <laughs> so you shouldn't do it. So my recommendation mirrors the DAH's campaign to control domestic terrorism. If you see something, say something. And if you don't, well, then you're part of the problem. Now let me address those of us that blur the line. That violate policy in plain sight. Do you realize that by doing so, you put us all in a trick bag? That you are jeopardizing your fellow officer's livelihood? This isn't about snitching, because I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> if you as an officer expect me to choose between feeding my family and covering for you, I think you know where this is going. Yes, I'm choosing my kiddos every time. And you as a brother or a sister should understand that. Respect that. And never put your fellow officer in a position to have to do that. And as silly as it seems, bringing in your phone does just that. Make sense? Good! Look, part of our obligation to each other is to keep each other safe. Not to put each other in harm's way. And you bringing in your cell phone does the opposite of that. And if you decide to get crappy with your coworker because you screwed up, because you broke policy, well, then that's on you. You should never expect a fellow officer to do anything or say anything or admit anything that would come back and bite him in the ass. Ever! Never! Ever! If you like this video, check out this video right here. Or maybe you'd rather watch this one over here. All right, guys, that's all I got. Until next time, be smart, stay safe, stay sane, and we'll talk soon.